lady has to say. But Stripe Fire, how's it going? Uh, let's go ahead and s let's do a hard save, yeah. Antiberry Commons. Antiberry Commons. The lair, we have to have the light off. She is that way. What is... Hmm. I don't think I'm missing anything. What's the purpose of coming down this way? Whoa, you got like a big old computer and everything down here. Oh god. I don't know what I just did, but I did it. <laughs> oh, did I hit that? Wait a minute. Somebody hit that switch. Alright, we better go back. Uh, go back this way. Awesome. I'm doing I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Currently having a lot of fun right now. <laughs> Have a lot of fun blowing up mines on myself, yeah. Let's go back up and go where the marker's telling us to go. Is the marker telling us to go this way? Oh, it is. Okay, well, let's go back up and check that other way first. This looks like the way that we we're, we're supposed to go, but there was another path that I want to check before we come down this way. Oh yeah, we should have came in here first. Scrap metal. I don't know why I say it like that. <laughs> oh my god, the tripwire. Disarm. Nothing in that bucket. I don't think that's that's all busted. I didn't mean to pick up a rake. Wow, this uh this ant supervillain's definitely got a lot of traps around. Mm -mm -mm. I have a feeling that if it were me playing, I would have a crazy room full of Plunders like that one room you found, Plunder King room from way back. Oh man. When we stumbled upon that, I was like, why is there so many plunders in here? It's a pretty, pretty hilarious room though. Yeah. I'm glad there were people uh, in the chat for that, because that was funny. A Plunger King. <laughs> you could definitely do that. Just gather all the plungers and then just throw them all over your megaton home. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. No, I didn't mean to. Well, sorry, ant lady. Gotta kill your ants. I come to exterminate your ants. Oh, fox. Look at that thing. Oh, for all those ant lovers out there, that was for you. Like an ant shaking and baking. I hope you're not, like... I hope this lady isn't, like... You know, in with that ant queen. You know, she could be. Okay. So this all loops around the same way? Yeah. Yeah, this is crazy. Yeah, just make sure there's nothing around here. Okay. 
Um, one thing I'm really impressed uh, with is your sense of direction. You don't seem to ever get lost. It's really awesome. Yeah, it's... I mean... Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I... Well, you know what? I do. I do know what to say. In the last session on Wednesday, I, I ended up... Did... Not really getting lost, but trying to figure out how to get to a certain location that I couldn't figure out how to. It took me like 15 minutes or so to actually find out how to get in there. But yeah. <laughs> I don't have that video up yet, but when you get to it... Yep, I, I seem a little lost. <clears throat> but I think under the circumstances it was acceptable. Antagonizer's lair. Save it. Into the lair. Oh. Uh. <laughs> wow. Sitting on just a chair, but it's kind of a throne. You know what I mean. Save and save often. Yep, you know it. I need to make that like a, like a, a Moobot command. Like exclamation save and then have that as like a motto or something. Yeah, that's definitely my thing. Save and save often. Alright, Ant Queen. Oh no! Well, we saved. Game crashed. The game's crashed twice on me today. Not good. <laughs> like how we talk about save and save often and the game crashes. Yeah. It's alright. We saved right before we were gonna talk to her, I think. Yeah, as soon as we got to the, to the lair. <laughs> this is why you want to save and save often in case this game crashes. Or you do something in, in the game that you don't like and you want to reload. That goes for, for anything, really. Viv. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go talk to the Ant Queen again. <laughs> it must have jinxed me. It so happens. at last, you've penetrated the court of the Antagonizer, Queen of all Ants! Were you sent by that meddling mechanist? He'll learn that no one can stand before my royal regimen of fighting ants. Explain yourself. Why shouldn't I have my pretties kill you where you stand? My pretties. Huh. So you could straight up kill her. You can probably persuade her to stop what she's doing, or you can side with her. Oh man, if this was an evil playthrough, I'd be siding with this lady in a heartbeat. Um, Your days of terrorizing the town are over. Give up and you won't be hurt. Ha ha! You would walk here and presume to command me? Humanity's time has come to an end. Your kind died because it knew only petty bickering and wars. But not so, the noble ant. It works with its brethren, knowing only loyalty and duty. And this is why they have grown, while humanity crumbled. Once I've finished with that pathetic mechanist, I will be free to spread my colonies across the wastes. Colonies. Um, hmm. Do you realize you're not really an ant, right? Uh, without your suit, you're just a normal human like anyone else. Humanity's made mistakes, but there's still a chance for us. Yeah, we'll say that. Perhaps. But I'll snuff those chances soon enough. Now, my royal guard, kill this commoner! No! Found you. I didn't want to have to kill her. Uh 
I didn't want to have to kill her. Is there a way we could have done that to where she didn't die and we just convinced her to stop? Reload and try it again. I really don't want to kill her if I don't have to. Maybe we'll say the other option. We'll see what that says. So at last, you've penet were Explain your Explain myself, your days of terrorizing are over. Haha! <laughs> Human Yep. Um Without your suit, you're just a normal human like anyone else. Lies! Unlike the rest of you peasants, I was born for greatness. I was never meant to crawl in the muck of mankind. But the ants knew my destiny. When I was but a larva, they rescued me from my filthy human family. They saw my nobility, and they saved me from a human life of fear and pain. Now, I will lead them to their glorious future! Oh, okay, so... Hmm... You do realize you're not really an ant, right? Of course I do! Do you think I'm insane? Why, with this suit, I'm more than any ant could hope to be. And ten times more than any mere mortal like you or the Mechanist. But now, the time for your prattle has come to an end. If you shall not bow before your Ant Queen, then bleed before the Antagonizer! Well, there's no way of getting around this. There's no way we can convince her to stop. We can convince- we can join her and then go and kill the Mechanist, but I kind of don't want to do that either. So... I guess we'll just kill you then. There's no way to persuade you to stop. I'm sorry. Oh. I mean, I guess we'll go and st stop the mechanist as well. <laughs> Just to get their, uh, their armor and stuff. That's yeah, kind of unfortunate. Ant Sting. Minus 4 HP for 10 seconds. Key Human Flesh? The costume. Oh yeah, I'm taking that. That, that I'll add that to my uh, sort of unique collection that I got going on. Yeah, we've got uh, a good amount of unique weapons and not really too much unique um, like apparel, but uh, yeah. Well, that sucks, but. <laughs> just the way it goes. Blood. Um, okay, so this area is clear. There's nothing over there. What is over here? You must have, like, your treasure over here, then. Anything on the ground here? Did I get that finger? Nah, I didn't get it. It's fine. I had 44 fingers the last time. I don't think that's. I don't think I want to keep picking that, those things up. Oh, ladder to Canterbury Commons. Um. Yeah. I guess we'll just go up there then. Dink. 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 Hmm. Oh, you had a little layer there. Super great to ant agonizers. Wow, look at this. This is a nice little view of everything. Going on with that mountain back there. Yeah. All right, let's go see uh, the mechanist. Let's go see what he's talking about. Maybe we could persuade him to just like, well, I mean, now that we kill the the ant agonizer, I think he'll probably be okay. He he does repair stuff, so I think maybe he should maybe he should live. Maybe 
don't know. Let's go up there. He lives up there, I think. <clears throat> That's a lot of wasteland. Have I made it to the edge? Mm, yeah, I think so. Although, I don't think I've gone far enough to where it says, like, maybe this is the edge, or you just keep walking into an invisible wall. But, uh, this was kind of close to the edge. We were over here. Um, the whole, when we were escaping from Raven Rock, that was kind of close to the edge. Hello, welcome to the Brotherhood of Steel. It yeah. is so nice to see you. It is so nice to see you. Man, I love that. Those quotes from Fallout 1. Stripe Fire, thank you so much for the follow, man. Really do appreciate it. Welcome to the channel. Uh, but yeah, that's that's kind of the closest we've been to the edge. I wonder if you just like walk into an invisible wall, or if you get like a message where it says you reached the end of the map. Please turn around. Yeah, I don't know. Darren's discounts. Ooh, there, there there's got to be a lot of good stuff in there. I would think. <clears throat> Let's go in here. Everything must go. Sail, sail, sail. Hey, it's like Black Friday, but in Fallout. <laughs> Robot Repair Center. Let's check that out. And there's a big mutant standing in front of me. Hey, wait a minute. I just entered here and you're shooting me now? I do not approve. They call your stuff though. Nuka Cola. Mr. Gutsy. Dude, I wonder if there's any if there's gonna be like uh anything good in here. Look at all these cubicles. I don't think I would like to work in a cubicle. I mean, it might be fun for a little bit, but I don't think that would be. Note from Frank. Uh, do, 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 do. I can't take it anymore, Bob. I don't trust those turrets in Sector A. I swear I saw one track me the other day. I left work a little late. Um. Snake? Solid snake? Help me smuggle in some pulse grenades that I locked away in a box under my desk. Try to get one out uh, on our handy at the house. And the missus nearly killed me. Knocks him out like a light. Oh, yeah, we should probably use grenades, huh? Let's try using pulse grenades. Yeah, let's try using pulse grenades on robots. Wait a minute, I don't see a thing under your desk. You're lying to me. Unless this isn't Frank's desk. I think it might be. It probably isn't Frank's desk. Yeah, here it is. This is Frank's desk. Yeah, we'll try using pulse grenades on, on the robots. Um, yeah, I'll try that. <sighs> Been watching all of his past vids on YouTube. Yes, and I'm I'm very thankful for it. We've got um we've got the full playthroughs of Fallout 1 and Fallout 2 on there. Both those games I played for the very first time before we played this one. Um and, and those were fun. Uh, we've also got uh Final Fantasy 9 uh up on there on the YouTubes as well. I do have my entire Witcher 3 playthrough, but I don't have it uh, to the public yet because I have to figure out how I can edit those videos down. So until I figure that out, I, I won't be putting that up anytime soon. Um, but yeah, that was something we, we did like way back uh, in like, probably finished that in like July, I think, but yeah. Your repair skill allows you to grab the microfusion cells without getting shocked. We'll take it. Yeah. I didn't know that that was a trap. We're going to have to start looking in toilets like that because apparently people trap it. And 
that's not good. That's not good if you like go and like go to sit on the toilet and you know you get shocked. Maybe that's how Elvis went. Oh no! Let's not go that way. Let's go back and see. Do, 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 do. Wait, is anybody coming? What are you doing? Uh oh. Pulse grenades. Wow, I didn't get anything for it. Well, I cut him in half. Will I play Fallout 4? At, at some point, yeah. I want to get through this game first, do all the DLC and stuff. Uh, then we still have to play New Vegas and do all the DLC. And then we'll do Fallout 4. But, I mean, Fallout 4 probably won't happen for a couple of months, I would say. And I'm okay with that because some of the... Uh, what I've heard so far about Fallout 4 is that there's a lot of ways that the game takes a step back and like simplifies a lot of things from from um, New Vegas and um, in Fallout 3. Like with like, they, they don't have a karma system anymore. You can't really be evil. They changed the perk system all up. Uh, even the conversations, you know, so. After hearing, like, that sort of stuff, I haven't really been, like... I wasn't as hyped as I was before, but we're still gonna play it. It'll just be... Definitely gonna be a while before we do, though. God dang it. If I start Fallout 1 and Fallout 2, I'll be watching you till next summer. Well, they're always there whenever you want. They were definitely pretty fun games. <clears throat> It was kind of it was kind of tough to get used to because I had never played anything like that before, and they're they're also very dated as well. But it, it, I had a great time with it. <laughs> it was fun. It was really fun. Now, should I go back? I think I should probably go back. Go back and look that. Going down the line. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't want to jump uh, into like Fallout 4 without having played the the previous ones. And I know that the the stories are all different, but I want to be able to get those references from the previous games, you know, when they throw that. Like, we've already seen some references in this game from Fallout 1 and 2, and I know New Vegas is going to have that as well, so... I don't know. That's something I like to do. It's kind of cool. Kind of cool to be able to be like, oh, I know where that's from. But yeah. Did I get... Did I die? Okay, this isn't working out too well. Come on, mysterious stranger. There we go. Yeah, this is reminding me of that, uh, the Robco factory that we went into. That door automatically opens. Yeah, just go ahead and, uh, kill everything for me. mean to take my gun out, but I did. Scrap metal. And I don't I don't want to kill this this mechanist guy. But I think we're gonna have to do it. Oh wow. Got a terminal there. Uh <laughs> That sentry robot's just sitting there. Missile? Eh. Eh. Oh, terminal. Let's check this out. 
Note for management regarding Sector B. Please make sure the main platform and repair sector is properly raised before releasing the repaired bots uh, from their pods. Um. <laughs> Accidentally involving a protector on falling to the lower level. That error cost us time, money, and was an embarrassment to the company. Yep. Okay, so let's go up in here, I guess. Is this where we're supposed to go? Local map. Actually, it wants us to go back down to that elevator. Well, let's see what's in here. Oh my... Uh, is there a computer around? Okay, turn. Ah, oh, well, we'll just blow it up. Good experience for it. Wow, oh, this guy's... This guy had an insane base. Like, how had that not... That ant lady, how, how did she not die yet? This guy's got crazy amounts of turrets. Carries, I knew it. Knew it. Um... Shut down security in Sector B. Sure, we'll do that. We can always turn it back on, but... I think that's going to help us out. We won't have turrets shooting at us every single time. Oh, this place is, like... Actually kind of massive here. Section A terminal. What is that? Save it. Invalid decryption key. Okay. I think I don't really think I need to shut down the turrets because I think I killed them all. I also need more bobby pins. Oh, encryption key. Does that work then? Oh yeah, it does activate emergency pulse explosion? Not while I'm in here. Although I think this I think this is sector A. Or this could be sector A because there's a terminal here for it. I don't know, there's no way to tell. Uh, <laughs> let's go back and then go down and see what's over there. It's fun to just like go and explore things. Like I mean I, I think maybe Monday we'll we'll pick up doing the main story. I mean we're we're like right at the end and then we start a uh, broken steel DLC for the for more content. Um But I mean it's just cool to just come to these places and just explore and all this stuff. Get to see a lot of the world, and, um... Some of these side quests are pretty fun. Like, even in, uh, in Fallout 1 and 2, there was some fun side quests. Plunger. There you go! You can take some plungers if you want. Ooh! Electron charge pack. I'm trying to get the scrap. Free scrap metal. Uh, I think we looked at all this stuff here. Yeah, I think we did. Check drawn. Uh, that is just a pulse that'll kill the robots. That is that is true. I don't think there's any more. All these bins here. Um, we didn't come down here, did we? Oh yeah, we did. We opened that door. Okay. So this all links into here. What is in this door? Scrap, scrap. Oops. Paint gun. Sector A locked terminal. Easy. Uh, 
packing. Yep. <laughs> Shut down turrets. Nah. Like we killed everything to get here. Okay, so we can go back up to that elevator area. Let's stand there. Come along, Fox. So now we gotta go back up to that elevator. And then we'll talk to the Mechanist. Probably heal too. Heal and save. Safety. Then once we're done with here, we'll take a, uh, a quick break and then uh, figure out where we're going to go to next. Yeah. How am I doing so well by guessing on the right password? It's it's just a guess. Just getting lucky. And because I have high uh, science, it uh, there's less words to choose from. So I can always get it right. Gotta go by Mike. Strike fire. Thanks for thanks for watching, man. Give yourself a great day and we'll see you next time. Well done. You have defeated the vile antagonizer. <laughs> and you've brought back her suit so that we may destroy the last taint of her villainy. Oh, no, Hand I'm it to me. No. And I'll make sure that no one else can ever bear the mantle of the foul antagonizer. Uh-uh. That's mine. That suit is mine. No way, dude. First, let's talk about what you're doing. Quickly then. Evil never pauses to contemplate its actions. So I see little reason that we should either. He's, he's like, quick, let's destroy it. This is like giving me like Lord of the Rings. Destroy the ring. Throw it in the fires of Mordor. Uh, No. The fighting is causing more trouble than for the town than the antagonizer ever did. I yeah, will say that, I guess. Is... is that true? Have I really become a bigger problem for the town than her? Am I really the villain here? Does this mean I should stop myself? I... I guess I could just give up my suit and stop being... Yes! But I couldn't face the town after causing that much trouble. Here, please, take the suit. I don't want to think about it anymore. Wait a minute, I'm not done talking to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just well, okay then. Alright. Now, if only the, the Aunt Agnes would have did that as well. <laughs> the Aunt Agnes. Such a great name. It's great. Oh well. I didn't really get to ask him too much more about stuff, but... That's okay. But the main thing that I wanted was a suit, so we got that. This was definitely a fun little quest. I did not expect to see sort of this superhero quest line going on. Parker Fusion. So, okay, what do we need to do now? We just need to go back and uh, go back to town for our reward. Okay, let's go do that. Canterbury Commons. And what's crazy is like there's so many locations on the map that like uh oh. Okay, good. But the game really never directs you into those to those areas. So like I'm sure there's a lot of people that have played this game and have missed a lot of these areas. But I mean but then again, I, I would think maybe a majority of people just like go around and exploring stuff so they would come across things like that and they wouldn't miss out too much. Because I think one of the big draws to, to these games is exploring, just walking around and going and seeing stuff. But yeah, this was, this was really good. Now I need to find uh, that... Uncle Roe dude or whatever. Hello. There he is. With all of that fighting, I never did get to give you the official welcome to the town, did I? Welcome to Canterbury Commons, home of traders, caravanners, and most of all of excellent bargains. Here for business or pleasure. Um Neither. In that case, I'm sure you'll find it was Providence that brought you here. 
Why, have a talk with any trader in town, and I'm sure you'll find just the thing you didn't even realize you needed. Yeah, this is what I want to do. I took care of both of them. They won't be fighting in the street anymore. That's grand. I do believe it's fair to say you've saved Canterbury. <clears throat> and unlike that mechanist, you did so with significantly less stress all around. Now, I do believe this is our agreed-upon payment for your fine services. 400 rendered, caps. And a little bonus as a special thank you. Awesome. Oh, we actually got more. 600, 300 experience. Superhuman Gambit. Is that it? Maybe he gave yeah. me a little bit extra hey. bottle caps, I think, maybe. Well, it looks like this area is all done with. We've got Vault 108, Core Vega Factory, uh, the Relay Tower, Public of Dave. Oh. Um, let's go check out this waste. Uh, where is it at? That disposal site. Yeah, let's go check that out. Um. I guess we can go here. Hopefully there's no raiders here. Please, no raiders. Oh, and there's raiders. Yep, gross. This place doesn't have a bed or anything, right? On, oh yeah, they do right there. I almost shot him. Be careful! Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, well. Welp, 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 welp. That's, that sucks. Uh, alright, I'm going to save it here. We're gonna take a break. Hopefully I won't be gone too long. Because, sounds like somebody's coming over. Great. Yeah, of course. How it has to be today, right? Yeah. So, anyways, we'll be right back here.